Yes, sir, it's Tuesday. You mean it's Tuesday? You know it's Man Cave and we today we're talking about a very interesting uh, conversation as always. And as you expect us to, but before we introduce the topic, I need to introduce the panel. Uh, full house in Adi Papa. <laughs> Sheila Wamboka. What's good? Good morning. Do you have like two cups of coffee? One. Okay. One strong one. Yeah, mine is strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever you're adding, it's legal, yeah? <laughs> it is within the sugar parameter. Okay. <laughs> and Pastor Korea. Yeah, welcome, panel. Welcome. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And of course, mm. and of course Roy Karu. He's Karibu Sana. Uh, Karibu Sana, Roy. Uh-huh. Yes, Good to be back. Good to be back. Today, we're talking about. Uh, is it rejection or is it protection in this context by either when you introduce your significant other to one your parents or two your friends uh, of course parents there are different parameters whereby they might reject even as flimsy as tribe and then for the <laughs> for the friends they could be the mother hen syndrome of which uh, she will help us shed some light on <laughs> so i guess let's start with the parents aspect how important is it for your parents to accept for lack of a better word your person <laughs> i i think i think when i'm introducing my 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 yeah, this is grandparents yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, I'm, when, I'm, when i'm introducing when i'm introducing my 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 next to my parents mm. it is not their choice mm-hmm. it is my choice mm-hmm. i didn't help my dad to choose mom mm-hmm. Neither the parents of my dad. Sure? Did, they didn't. Oh. I was, I was, I was, I was in that uh, cave. <laughs> and uh, cave. and uh, yeah, I was in my dad's cave. <laughs> so uh, uh, parents have got uh, uh, quite some small percentage, either to reject or to love, because I am the bridge mm. between me and my 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 my, my lady. Mm. I am the bridge to show her how much she can interfere with my parents. Mm. I'm still the bridge. To show my parents how far they can interfere with my relationship. Yeah, so mm. there, there, there are times I have to draw lines. It's like it's a football, uh, whatever, ground. There is a place you can hold the, the ball, it's called a uh, hard ball. There is another place in the same field you can still hold the ball, it is penalty. No, 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 no. Eh, you eh? football, no, 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 of okay. the house. I will, well, yes, I, I tend to defer slightly with them. Mm. And I, I just don't, don't want to say, let me not say defer, but I think there needs to be a little bit of clarity here. We're talking about how much involvement people have in your relationship. Right. Yeah, and there's a change, there's been a shift. A, a while back, when it comes to marriage, there's not that much involvement, but when it came to relationships, there's a, quite a bit of involvement with your friends. Today it's getting quite heavy because we're in a social environment. Whether it's fake friends or real friends, there's a lot of involvement in relationships. Mm-hmm. On people influencing who you go out with or who you hang around. Because mm-hmm. if they're not easily acceptable, you tend to reject them. When it comes to parents, one thing that's very important that we need to accept, understand is that what is happening now is that the couple or the guy or the chick is introducing their other better half late in the relationship. But so then they yeah, define late, like what? Late. A year when they're two, now, or when they're coming to get married. Oh, okay, okay. They, they even tell the parents to jump on the material, it's moving. <laughs> so the parents are told to join the relationship very late, to jump on the manyanga and move right. into the relationship. Uh-huh. So we're putting them on a journey in a matatu to join our relationship when we're already on the go. Uh-huh. What we're not doing is making them, introducing them to the relationship or building them into the relationship. A while back, you'd find that parents knew who you're getting married to long, long before. Mm. Yeah? But now what happens is, Guys are coming in and introduced by this, this, this year. We've been with her for three years. It's been on and off. I didn't like her. There's a time she go and ask about the outfit. So I kind of dumped her. I kind of didn't dump her. <laughs> and I kind of moved in and kind of didn't move in. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 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 Now we're, we're kind of getting married. We're kind of getting married. Yeah. So now I kind of getting married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah? So the parents are involved so late. That's why it's very hard for them to contribute. That's the problem that's happening now. And let's accept it. A lot of relationships are not lasting. Mm-hmm. Because the reason they're not lasting is they are not founded on something. The good thing with parents is they can begin to help you see the values or the problems in a relationship early. Because them at a distance, they give you that nice outside point of view. Mm. You're my fans. Because mm. them, they're not in the team. Mm. You're my fans on an Ampira Vizuri because they have a better view of the pitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I think they're good for life coaching. For us guys, what we're doing wrong these days is we're introducing peros uh, like uh, linesmen. Just to find a substitute to do the yao. When I know to board. Yeah, when I board, I'm going to talk. 
There is a difference between a man and a boy. You can bring your opinions in my relationship and I can buy them since I don't have power to make a decision which will affect my relationship. But if I am a real man, I will bring my girl to you and show you the best part of her. Before even you check on her, you have already seen the best part because I have introduced her in a good way. So when you are, you, 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 you are jumping in my relationship, you are jumping on the positive side. But if I come and introduce my girl and start introducing her parents to you, and you know them better than me because you are older than me, mm -hmm. then you are just going to get all the negativities, put it on the girl. Mm -hmm. So I think it will, affect, uh, it will affect much. As far as Roy is saying the parents should be accompanied, yes, they should be accompanied. But also the parents should know that I am not a boy now, I am a man. That's why I'm supposed to leave them, not to hate them, is to leave them. A man shall leave. A man. A man. Mm. But a boy shall bring to the parents. <laughs> I think uh, I want to disagree a bit with Pasi uh, because I think one of the key reasons, and I think he's even mentioned it, is when you're in a relationship, you're showing each other the best of yourself. Right. So that's what's intoxicating to you. That's the reason why you're so addicted to this person. And so even when someone tells you there's something wrong with this person, you don't want to hear it. And that's why I feel like it's, it's very important to, and, okay, have a limit as to how much you're listening involvement. from outside, mm -hmm. involvement, but it's important to t put this person out to the test, especially to people who know you. Mm -hmm. They can be able to pinpoint things about this person that your mind is refusing to to see because you're in that um, utopia. honeymoon phase, insanity, utopia, insanity, 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 love, you know, so for that, that for is that a form of insanity, it, yeah, it is, it is, because you, you, you can see, your eyes just refuse to see the negative aspects of this person, and so like Roy said, by the time you're taking them to your folks, your folks can smell that, they can, all they're seeing is that that thing that you, your eyes are refusing to see. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it could also be their prejudice, uh, which I feel like a lot of people go through, um, because, you know, uh, the times, you know, your folks yeah, grew up in a different it, time. Yeah. Sidri tribes, Sidri nini nini, oh, that one doesn't look like he's going to do A, B, C, D, E. Not considering <laughs> that... Um, yeah, not yeah. considering that, a fact we, we've probably been living together from the first moment we met. We've been living together for three years. Now we have to act like, okay, go to your... Now come and pick me up, you know, for... <laughs> for formalities and you know as we've already crossed all that we're just doing this just to ensure that we have joint accounts and, and whatnot. so I think at the end of the day as much as your friends reject or your family reject like Patrick mm -hmm. said it has to be your own uh, thinking but I think you also need to let people in to you need to let people in yeah. but uh, we're, we're agreeing I think on one point that let people in on the sense that you see you'll marry that you'll marry you 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 might yes you might uh, marry her and she's she's a microwave wife, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your parents can see the microwave that you're marrying, right? <laughs> or you see something completely different. You just say her food is always hot, but she's never made it. She's always mm -hmm. bought it, mm -hmm. right? And <laughs> it's it's good to have that outside influence. Where well, I'm agreeing with with Patricia, oh yes, you're the man. It's your decision in the end. But as much as it's your decision, if you're going to share the story with us, don't bring me into an argument late. I keep telling guys, if you're inviting me into an argument, invite me from the time the argument developed. So that I don't come in as a latecomer just shouting like I'm a number at a bus stop, right? Involve me in the early in the relationship. So if you want your parents' view or opinions, then they should have a view of where this thing is developing. As Sheila is saying, yes, show them in early between your relationship, but as Patty is saying, since it's your view of the person, then you give that positive outlook. You share that positive side of the story early. I'm just saying if you bring it in last minute, it looks like a hoax. But let me it looks like something. Mulienda Ukuko gets, you package that present. I have been to Hi, darling. I'm um, okay, guy. Then it's a whole play acting out at the gate before you go and meet his parents. I think it needs to be early enough. And what is happening today, I tell you, guaranteed, is guys are developing their relationships, cementing them. Then they go to their parents to just present what, they got, what they got from the market. Mm. But, the truth is, but let me ask you isn't right. that because you, I mean, you don't fight the rejection? 
It's not even about rejection. You know you're wasting this person's time. You know you're wasting this person's time. Or you're wasting each other's time. Because, I mean, how is it that you've, you've, you've dated someone for over a year, you don't even know their second name? Mm -hmm. That person has already you rejected you. Do, uh, your happy number. Yeah, that person has already rejected you. And then, you know, you're, you're, you're cheating yourself in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Maybe the friends have already told this person, oh, she's not wife material. I don't know what the hell that is. Or that lady, that, that, that guy is not husband material. But at the end of the day, then why are you still there? My question is, yes. no, no, you're oh, okay. developing Hold the relationship. Hold before you, as you That's continue, we need to remind guys that you, you can jump into the conversation uh, using the hashtag uh, man cave. Uh, hashtag man cave and also 2242 uh, that is our SMS line we're going to be sampling some of your views in a short while even before Pasi uh, you make your submission I have two uh, two points or questions rather to ask one what if two scenarios here is somebody who growing up my parents have been so involved in my life right mm -hmm. uh, they've been involved in everything and you know so when it comes to the point where Sasa see I want to introduce late I'm like, eh, there's this guy. Or, eh, there's this chick. And then, to Nandalea, I keep involving them. Ah, Sasa, Sasa. This way it's Yeah, this way. Up on the Mefika. Sasa, I'm going to meet. I love to meet. Now, I'm going to tie. What do you do? Because if they've been involved in your life, the then, yeah, then your opi their opinion really matters to you. So, what happens if Sasa was saying, I owe you. I could wish you was here to you. What would you because how do you deal with that from, from the parents? Well, why do we, I also ask a question, <coughs> why do we have uh, the, the, the period that Sheila is talking about, about one year or two years or three years, why are we having that period before we get married? It's because we want to learn about one another, mm -hmm. not to understand, mm -hmm. but to learn one another. Mm -hmm. How many hours does my parent have, 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 have taken to be with my partner? Is it the day that I have introduced her to them, they are rejecting her, and I have stayed with her for more than two years, courting. But were they involved from the beginning? Did you well, I, know? I, I, I told them, okay. I'm, I'm dating but a girl. Okay. But but you, 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 let me finish here. Mm -hmm. I'm dating a girl, ma'am. I'm dating a girl. I'm bringing her here. I'm bringing her here. We are now over two years. And by the way, by the way, there is a word you have used here, wasting a lot of somebody's time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know why I should last for three years in courtship. And a man can always, according to how my, my theology teacher taught me, three months. No, 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 no. A one man hour. can pretend for six months, but a lady can pretend for one year. So courtship should not be over one year. We have known one another. Here in Guinea, to Kajitengene, the Sasa. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. We are looking for perfection. So even my parents, when they are, they are, they are bringing their, their opinions, their views. their views, they should also know how, how, how uh, the, the, the time they have gone to be together. The, the, the borders were Meruka. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. they should yeah. also let me Ruka Ruka the same Mabode because that problem will show me my destiny. What if they but don't want you to Ruka Ruka the Mabode? Why? That, 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 that's that's bad. Wana Nikosea. I'm an Ayo Gari, Mary Bika. Ata panel beating Aita is idea. You know, I feel like one of the biggest challenges or problems is um, guys taking their time to introduce you to their family. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they need to be even when you're coming to introduce someone like for example if I had a, uh, a brother who wants to introduce me to his babe or wants to introduce the family to the person that he's been dating I mean him coming and saying okay this is the person I've decided to stay with shouldn't be the first time we're meeting yeah. this person you should have, th there's ways to introduce your family to someone that you really care about even if you end up breaking up it's not like hey yeah. you brought us well, someone, someone. Alapa Amanda they, they see the progression they can understand that okay it didn't work out you understand mm -hmm. so small things like when there's a family gathering that's not too intimate yeah. bring, bring that bubble. person as a date say hi this is so and so blah 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 you don't even need to give too many details so by the time you're bringing this person to your parents and saying even before you bring them you've had the conversation with your parents say you see that lady I usually I'm sure you've even had the conversation what's mm -hmm. going on there no we're, we're dating A B C D E. Mm -hmm. but if you want to sit till the last minute you've been living with this person for three years now you tell them okay now go back to your folks Let's act like it's afresh, you know. Yeah. I mean, even yes. your, pa your parents will be like, dude, you're hijacking me. I don't know who this person is. I've never seen them. So I don't, don't ask for my opinion. And that's the problem. That's the problem. You, you, you have ladies out here who've mm -hmm. been dating and guys who've been dating for mm -hmm. years. 
and they don't know where this person's shags is. Let me tell you something that happened. <laughs> but they know holidays. In Pasi's time, relationships were forced. To, to the <laughs> and Let me tell you what happened. They were forced. Guys, come and tell you. You can be born someone who's got exactly two teeth. Yeah? And I told this to be your wife. One she uses during the day, the other two she uses during the night. Whatever it is, yeah? <laughs> right? And you go, you go with the flow because they told these are her virtues, these are her values. She's educated, she's this, she's that. And she's Nani's daughter. Right? And you accept. At that time, people learned to conform. We're living in a world where people don't conform mm. to what is there. What is there? The problem is I have is that we're quick. We're just quick to bring someone when it's an end game or when it's decision made period. That's why you, it's when it's block delete time, right? And what, what my my problem is what, where our pass is going is right. that this is a decision I made and this is where I'm going. And yes, I've been panel beating this relationship and you've not been through with me in the journey. But I'm asking. Can't we get away from the old time where you introduce someone only when it's serious? Yeah. To where we introduce you while we're building, and building blocks. And that's part of because the that's what will keep the relationship stronger and what will make them make a, gr a better decision. Can you guys, can you guys, can you guys, can you guys, guys around me? Let me ask you, Willis. Bringing mm. your parents as Supreme Court judges for your relationship. <laughs> can you around me, can, can you around me to put the Bible? Because mm -hmm. I like the Bible so much. Wealthy and inheritance, you can get it from your parents. Mm -hmm. Yes. But a wife, not a wife, a woman of good character, you can only get her from God. That's number one. Because you get a woman, you make a wife. Uh, can you look at this man, really, mm -hmm. who is a real man, because there are men and real men. Hosea, he was taught by God without his parents. This is the second time we're talking about this. Yeah, Hosea yeah, was taught. This guy in Hosea was been yeah, yeah, Hosea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can you go <laughs> and marry a prostitute? Yes. Why, kind of Azar, the first kid, and the lady went back to prostitution. Uh -huh. And I believe, God told Hosea again, go and bring her back. So I believe Hosea went and found the lady have maybe some two clients, Hajamarizia. Yeah. And he had to wait. Aujalipa. Aujalipa. I'm to end home, but wait, I finish with these two clients. And I'm going to real man. I'm going to show you on Facebook. I'm going to complain to anybody. So there is, there is the, the, the God-chosen lady. And a, a, a lady who I have chosen myself without involving God. So, so I, I think no, we're, we're not denying that. We're not. I mean, we're not denying that. I feel like I feel like um, the issue here is not who's chosen the lady. We're saying what what happens when you've now or you've decided this is the person that I want to get married to. This is the person that I want to spend my life with, and then you introduce them to your friends and your family, mm -hmm. and they they start to in intervene to a point that you have to let that person go. And for me, what I'm saying is, um, and I think there's there's something Roy said about. When you're, you're courting this person, for me, I feel, and, I, and this is the, 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 the mantra that I use for my life, if you want, to get to, you want to teach me about yourself, I need to meet the people around you. Mm -hmm. So if you're not introducing me to real people, they're not people yes. who usually just drink with on Friday, yes. real people, like I know your brother, people you do business with, I'm work trying with. to interact with your brother. That's how you know that this is the person that you want to introduce to your family. But See mm -hmm. how, how they interact. <coughs> and look, you, can inter you, you start slowly, slowly. You can introduce to a brother, you can introduce to a friend, and just see how they interact or whatever. And if like that, if already that, if that's not going according to plan, they don't need to meet the parents. If, when they something that Roy said, so, and that's the thing with most people, you'll tell somebody, why haven't you introduced this person to your parents as you ask? And I said, eh, I'm not sure it's, uh, like you said, serious. Yeah. So, uh, again, you want to do killer mood, eh? At Okosawa, parent didn't work out. You know, what are you doing with someone who's not serious? What's wrong? What's wrong? No, you know, but you're not getting the problem. Me, my question is, why are you... Okay, you know that this person is not serious enough to meet your parents. What are you doing with them? What are you doing with them? No, it, 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 this it, it, is not a serious relationship. This is, this is, this is just the relationship might not have reached a serious stage, yeah, but the person the and you have a serious relationship. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm saying you, no, you can't it, put it, the two things. No, what I'm saying is you might not have. I might not have reached the point where now I want to actually ask for a hand in marriage. Yeah. But it's long before that. But where it is, it's still comfortable enough for me to spend time with them. Because remember, these people are part and parcel of your relationship. Because I'm, I'm saying if you introduce them, they don't ask their opinions. Don't expect their opinions. 
Like but they will still give them ideas. They will give yeah. them. Yes, but by that time, <laughs> don't expect because of but expect, by, yeah. yeah, because at that time you're giving me uh, late in the day to make decisions on something that you've already built yeah. and and settled on, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, and that's I'm, dangerous. I'm a the only problem where I'm beginning to start seeing where pastor is coming from is that if you involve a lot of people in what's going on, mm -hmm. then there's a danger of them shaping your opinion, yeah, and they do not know your story or your relationship with that person. In today's, today's young guys, let's move away from the parents only. Because yeah. the parents have said, I think we're reaching a consensus where, to some degree, should, you need to introduce the person yes. at some yes. point to the parents. And stop this disease that's happening today of doing it only when it's finishing. Yeah. Yeah. Extra time. Let me get extra time when you introduce. We've said we have Friday time. Yes. <laughs> now let's, let's <laughs> extra time, too late. Don't yeah. introduce them. Don't ask your parents' opinions because they'll be shipped. And maybe she's a, she's your sister from another mother. Yeah. Now you're into yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Now you're <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened when they introduced yeah. too late. So we've agreed we don't, right? Let's move to release. Let's move this. Let's move this a little bit and graduate to relationships. Right. Yeah. And if you look at relationships, is where I begin to then start looking at what Pasi is saying and supporting Ali. That mm -hmm. today we're involving our friends and our peers and whatever's too much in our the decision in our relationship, the kind of people we're choosing. Yeah, and helping them shape. Opinions or views on the kind of people well. because we're packaging someone mm -hmm. to suit the acceptance with our friends. You want someone who will be accepted by your buddies. And a while back, when Pasi, about 60, 70 years ago, when Pasi was 20, <laughs> yeah, at that time they didn't have that problem. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and you have to package someone for yourself and not package them for your friends. But uh, that's okay. the problem. Let me just remind guys uh, to send your comments on 22422. Uh, <laughs> interesting. SMS like release a number like what I need to ma. The SMS is two two four two two. Can I just can I just add <laughs> I want to disagree with Ray. I don't think when you're introducing people, um, the, the person that you're dating to the people in your life, that you're making them meddle too much. Because I feel like you also need to look at it on the flip side. You, these are the people who know you. And I'm not talking yeah. about like every single person in your yeah. life, like, yo, what do you think about this, babe? Because the, they're haters. There's one who's waiting for you to snooze, like uh, Nyashinsky says, and you are up in no, okay. uh -huh. So you really need to be. I mean, as as as, a, as I think as an adult, you know who the people in your yeah. life are. You know, you know who you know your brother wants the best for you. You know that uh, there's a there's an aunt somewhere who you know would tell you the truth. You know who genuinely would tell you the truth. So what you need is that level of accountability, mm -hmm. because sometimes you, you, to, we just concluded or concurred that. Love is insanity. Right, so, so you need a you need someone who's a type of madness. Yeah, you need someone because who logic is defeated by love. It's, it's simple well, things. Yeah, it's simple right? things. Just someone to stuff. look at, to, to be able to look at that situation and just say, okay, yeah, she she seems nice, blah blah blah. It's not someone, and it's you do you know that the person who you you're setting to be one of your accountability partners mm. is not someone who say leave that person, blah blah blah. You know that this is someone who you can have a conversation with. Mm. So I feel like it's important to have those people, especially in relationships and not only marriages, because yeah, there are a lot of people who are really being strangled in relationships and they don't know where to take them they can't take them to their parents because they've been six years ten years in it's not going anywhere someone has thrown a ring on your finger for, for another six years now you can't even go and tell your mom or you, you can't go to their family because now someone is like hey, we, we are just finding out about okay. you 12 I years think later. The, the agreement is we're talking about tight people introducing them to your tight yeah. crew mm -hmm. and, and getting at least guidance from your tight crew and when I say Crew, I don't think it should be crew like Kujazama Masri. Yeah. It's about one or two people you're talking about whose mm -hmm. opinions you actually see. Because what I'm finding a lot is the person is being accepted in a relationship because they know how to hang out with your friends. Yeah. Which is where I think we're which going wrong. Which is ridiculous. Wrong. And I know, but it's happening a lot. Yeah. They say, oh God, I've got a good chick. Why? Because she's easy to be with, yeah. with my people. She hangs with the boys. I, 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 want, I want to differ a bit with some both of you. Cause, um, on different fronts. On different fronts. Different fronts. Even, was there. Yeah. Even, as, even as you differ, tell us, uh, the, you know, there's always uh, that one friend when you're going to sana. What happens if that one friend... Look at this. Mm -hmm. If you read today's paper, I think it's Nation. <coughs> Excuse me. There are two guys who are working in a bank. They are now fighting, even the, the company now is coming in, because one introduced a girlfriend to the other guy, but the girl now is getting married to the guy he was introduced to by this. So there, there is a lot of danger in involving my friends in my relationship. But there is 80% uh, truth that if I involve my parents and my family members, they can assist me to step a step 
ahead. More than friends. friends. Yeah. Now this friend you are talking about that I have to tell that friends about what I'm going through and what I I I I I, I You're should, opening up yourself. I should also put a deep stick to him mm. or to her before I share my vision to her. Yes. Yeah. Because some of these people, they are character assassinators. Yes. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are they are going to make me uh, 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 abort my vision. Mm -hmm. With they, they are having another you know idea agenda uh, agenda. agenda. agenda yes. Yeah. Yes. This there is a guy there is a guy who was uh, who got married to a lady who who was needed by a friend. So he went to the girl and told he, to the girl, when you are asleep, if you want to know this guy is a witch, just scratch scratch <laughs> scratch his back. When you scratch his back, he'll jump. Then you tell her, him, you are a witch. And then he went to the guy, this girl is a witch. At night, she'll scratch you. When scratch you, you should jump. You know? Which film is this? Guara Guara. The 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 Guara This is a Nigerian movie. Yeah. Let me tell you where I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Let me finish my point. That's a Nigerian movie. No, it's not. Go and watch the preacher, uh, preacher, preacher man's wife. Oh, okay. it's an American. It's an American thing, man. Hey, pastor, hey, you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you are making me, you are making me feel no, old. No, but we're, we're accepting uh, you know? it. We, we don't need the whole story to understand where you're going with this, yes? And Willis, let's just agree with him immediately. <laughs> because let me, let me see what's happening in <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> pastor, by, by mistake, has made sense. <laughs> I am not common use. Which are not common use. Let me let me tell you something. You fall into a common sense portal <laughs> by mistake. Uh, he's made a very good point. In today's in today's friendships, our friends have become people who are not building us but competing uh -huh. with us. That's what, if, there's a little bit of decay in the kind of friendships we have. Our parents have relationships where they're building companies together contributing towards common chamas and interest. And they say, I started this with Mr. Whoever. I've drunk tea with whoever every Friday for the last 30 years. I know I'm there to have lunch with his friends for about 30, 40 years. Same place, same restaurant, every Friday. Right? Till the day he got sick and passed away. Right? Constant relationship with these guys. Not for any financial gain or anything of the sort. And I envy those kind of relationships. Because if I look at our friendship, we say, what are we doing together? There are few that I'm doing stuff with together, but the rest you're wondering, For what, what, what's, the, what's the common interest? Therefore, you find that a lot of times in today's world, his friends are actually people who are envious yeah. of the relationship or the lifestyle they have. So Every time you progress, so we don't need to do trying to pull yeah, you down. No, they don't try and pull you. Every time you go, they're not that excited, <laughs> not because they don't want you to be there, mm -hmm. because they're also not at that place. I think also and maybe that's a worrying part where I agree with him that as much as as close as these friendships come, you always have to have that benefit of doubt. Yeah. Of the only person who really is out for you is you and your family. It's mm -hmm. true. And, it's, it's, right. and, and I feel like this whole situation is exacerbated by social media. You yeah. know, um, too much pressure. I, I feel like it's it's all about. And I and I and actually came. I was telling a colleague of mine yesterday that we need to sue Facebook because. Come on. No, because <laughs> because you go on social media and the app starts telling you about people who want to connect with you. You know, yo, there's this person you are in class with in class one who wants to connect with you. Your friend, and they call them your friend. So like, which friend is but this? You can't even remember who they are. And you, what you don't know is that Facebook is also telling that person, there's this person who's trying to connect with you. That's what relationships are like, are like now. nowadays. Where you feel like, because this person comments on your Facebook or comments on your Instagram, it's and now you, you've, up, you've you, and this relationship died, as in you were just classmates in class one, you know what I mean? And now you've progressed to WhatsApp, and then you, you're building this whole facade of a relationship based off of the connection that Facebook has created for you, and Facebook is still Instagram. And now, and you, 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 and, and, and WhatsApp, and then now you've moved to text message, and now this is the person you're sharing your information with and telling them, imagine this guy, this is what he did, blah, blah, blah. And then the person shares with you and tells you, leave that person. A year later, you're coming to their wedding. You know, so those are the kind of... I'm telling you, yeah, these yeah. situations, there's someone who <laughs> just said, preach, sister. That is the reality of stuff. Me, when I tell you about the people who you should be opening up to, I think as human beings, we know who these people are. Evaluate what kind of connections you have with someone. If the connection is only one and it's Facebook, 
or one okay, okay, a yes, previous okay, relationship okay, that doesn't make any sense that's not the person who you I'm trust with you know serious information yes, Sheila, but I'm saying, I agree with you that it's not that those ones are a bit obvious what I'm just saying is even the close ones today yeah. are becoming questionable Quos close friends are becoming very questionable you know when a guy is ride or die, ride or die, nini, ride or die, we ride or die, like paka mafuta ishe ya gari, alafu mtatoka yo gari. We know ride or die, tuta ride paka mafuta ishe. Right? When the mafuta in our relationship ishe, I'll jump out of that relationship. Our shags, guys and our folks and these guys of folk stories, yeah, the guys of Old Testament here. Those are the guys who had real relationships and friendships because for them it was real, the real meaning of the word, ride or die. As guys, I told you, we'll only ride until the fuel is in the car. Yeah. Um, see, hold on, let me take see, some few comments see. here. One mm. minute. Uh, Bravo says, <laughs> uh, responding to what Sheila said about uh, teach me about yourself, I need to know the people in your life. Uh, Bravo and Sema, Sasa Mimi, I only have me and I in my life. <laughs> Those are the only people I have. Fred Jacob and Sema, show me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. Samuel Moses says, simply put, but the same feather flock together, or show me your friends and I'll show you my car your character. And then on uh, 22422, somebody says, I think our relationships, for relationships to work, the young generation should bite the bullet and go back to our roots, our father's ways. We've lost our African way of relating to each other uh, and take the path to walk in the Muzungu's <laughs> way. A big tree stands by its roots. So let's go back and trace where we lost our steps. And then somebody says, Jumbo, that is why we have a lot of uh, youngsters and children who have no morals because of the lack of discipline from adults and the so-called parents was as you were siku hizi mm. it's just a title name that's given to them uh, and so the children cannot be disciplined uh, by somebody uh, shame on the parents who say atafunzo na ulimwengu yeah yeah and no, then somebody also says sorry relationships nowadays is your luck just like a sport sport betting let, let me say this uh, as, as i cross on my side. And you do me delayed you have to close. Yeah. Final, yeah, actually true yes, time because, is because it, it's also it was hurting my inner man. <laughs> you how many men are you? This social media dangerous. It's dangerous. But it becomes so dangerous when you allow yourself to pour everything that you have in it. You don't have rhymes. I should not comment to anybody who is talking to me. Because when I keep quiet, silence is never misquoted. But if I continue commenting, they are just going to pour their, 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 their dirty in my ears. When I make my ears a dustbin, every Tom, Dick and Harry will, will throw everything in me. So whatever I want to say as I cross is please let us watch. Watch is W-A-T-C-H. Finally you can spell. Watch our words, watch our actions, watch our company, watch our thoughts and watch our hearts. Mm -hmm. And we are going to make it in life. Mm -hmm. Without doing right. that, mm -hmm. this social media thing is going to burn everything that you have. And you will end up being a nobody. And people will start laughing at you. Yeah, because I, 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 have, to, I have to support him and, and say that it starts with social media. It's now the problem is as it moves from social media to become a definer of how our relationships are in real life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not talking about the social media or relationships we know are not real, but they're defining the real one. And the problem is, social media has taught us to accept virtual friends as real friends. And now we need to take a second step and evaluate how much our friends are shaping what our lives are. We are, as Pastor is saying, shaping everything, our relationships, our business, our work, our choices, even the food we like to eat. Mm -hmm. We're taking, uh, this one, if I send a selfie of this one, it won't look good. So I'm not going to order that. And now ordering the food that I can take photos of. Yeah, so I'm, I, I, I am a big propagator and believer that now make your friendships have less of a say in the relationship yeah. you have today. Mm -hmm. Because believe me, they are now more competitive, more envious, and not out for your own good. For me, I think the last thing I'll say is um, the, the reality of, of, of life is that as an individual, this actually is a st statistic that was done, that one human being can only make about 69 real connections from the moment you're born to the moment you die 69 so that should tell you that at any one point you should not have more than three friends 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 including family including a cousin including at any one whose point. opinions matter whose opinions matter so mm -hmm. if you're going to go up open yourself to someone just remember if you have like 10 friends there's something wrong there's something wrong
All right, so on that note, we are going to wind up. Remember, as we said, we talk about it, but at the end of the day, you need to make decisions, and you will live by the decisions and the choices you make. Thank you so much for uh, watching uh, Man Cave. We're going to be back next week. Always suggest us some topics that you want us to discuss through our social media handles, like Sam Pastor Kuria, at Roy Karuizi, at Citizen TV Kenya, at Willis Naburu, at Quambox. Now, coming up uh, next, is an Extra. The hashtag is now Citizen Extra, and, of course, the National Assembly Majority Leader, Adi Ndwale, is set to know his food today. We're going to be crossing live uh, to... Uh, Millie Manager can see the uh, proceedings are going on there. He's